right, we're back. What do you think? Let's do it. So, if you guys don't know, I've actually been on vacation for two weeks. Um, Hunter's up there in the dozer. We'll show you what he's doing up there. If you guys don't know, don't remember this. We've got a couple videos on this. They'll be in the description. Oh, Papa Randy died. Don't say that. <laughs> Randy's on vacation oh, too. Oh, I'm on vacation. I hope you don't watch these videos. Yeah, that would be very nice. Really. Sorry. You guys, don't remember the loggers tore this thing all to heck, didn't they? They uh, ripped the winch, plumb off the back of it. The winch is laying over there. There's another video on us actually rebuilding it. They've tore the case up on it. When they ripped the winch off, this is actually the transmission drive pumps. I actually broke the shaft in between here in the pumps. And uh, we took this thing apart on what, May the, what do you say? May the 9th. It is uh, towards the end of July right now. So that's over about two and a half months. I'm waiting on some parts here. I couldn't find any anywhere. John Deere had some, but they're outrageous. Anyway, finally got the pumps all rebuilt and uh, redone. They're supposed to be brand new. So what Hunter's up there doing, if you guys don't know how these actually operate, there's actually a plastic drive coupling on the back side of that engine up there. And these actually wear out over time. So we've got a new one from Deere. We're actually gonna replace this new coupling on this pump here. Um, you guys can see it's got a little bit of wear in it, but I'll show you what uh, Hunter just pulled the old one out up here. That one, uh, it's got some wear on it, but these will fail over time. So while we're in there, we've got that all apart. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. But that sits on the back of the engine like that on the flywheel. That's actually all it drives that pump. It's kind of a fuse being that uh, shaft broke. You know this had to take some grunt when that broke, for sure. So good job, Hunter. We're gonna replace everything to be on the safe side. So we took a bunch of pictures um, oh, with our phones. I got the memory of the water buffalo. Yeah, right. I can't remember anything. I've got a few pictures because we've got a whole spaghetti full of lines. We're gonna put all new hoses on it. Um, got all the old ones over there customer i said while we're in there we might as well put new hoses on it uh, so we don't have to deal with the uh, blowing hoses later so we got all new factory hoses and uh, all that good stuff you about ready for the new coupler yeah all right did you pay attention to how it went on is there a side to it or not don't know that is right what's up hunter not much Getting nice dirty. way to come back from vacation isn't it Wonderful. Oh snap, my magnet's picking up bolts. So there's the flywheel way down there on the back of the engine. You guys can see Hunter's got the new drive coupling. He's going to go ahead and install it. Pretty self explanatory. And then we got the uh, flywheel cover. It goes back on there. The pump actually bolts it. So he's going to get that put back in there. Like I say, it's a lot easier to do this now than later for sure. So we're going to get this new uh, drive coupling put on the pump here. All right, we've been here. How long have we been here? Well, a couple of hours off camera. Yeah. You guys can see all this spaghetti. We got brand new hoses. These four are high pressure hoses that drive the uh, drive motors, and we think we got them in the right spot. Probably not. Oh, we got them. Right. <laughs> we got new charge supply hoses. So I kind of explained in the previous video how these pumps work, but I'll do it real quick again. These bolt onto the back of the engine here. This one here drives the right side of the tractor. This pump here drives the left side of the tractor. So there's actually only two wires running each one of these pumps. There's a little spool valve in there. It moves it forward or backwards. So if your uh, electronics, transmission controller all goes bad, you can actually take the floorboard out of any of these hydrostatic John Deere dozers. You see this little switch right here? whichever way that would push the track one way that would push the other way so a guy can actually sit in there with your fingers and drive these dozers when they're completely dead electronic wise mm -hmm. but yeah you can do everything with that little thing right there so we think we've got all the lines in the right spot we put several lines in the tractor down in there hunter's got the new coupling in there we got all new New lines. We got photo bomb Bridget here going on. <laughs> Hi, friend. If you guys stick around the end, I'm actually going to do a giveaway on this. Ooh, what are we not... giving away? What are we doing? We're going to give something some away on this away. project. Hugs. Hugs. Not hugs. 
<laughs> We're gonna do a giveaway, but I'm not gonna. Well, what are we giving away? I just said that. Maybe some hats, t shirts, Free trash. <laughs> We're gonna do a giveaway, and I'll tell you what that is towards the end of the video, so you guys have to hang around. But Hunter's gonna grab the forklift, and we'll get this hooked up. All right, we got our spaghetti soup all fastened up here. Got Hunter on the forklift. I'm going to attempt to get her flossed in there. You guys remember it was tight coming out. You know where all these hoses go? Me? Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. We'll set you guys up in there and you can watch. All right, we'll see what kind of forklift driving skills Hunter's got. It is a tight fit. Do you need to go back to forklift driving school? Whoa, there's a bench there. Got a big fan up there too, bud. pretty long because it goes down in a big hole here and it gives us some room to work under the strap but it will be tight coming out or going in you guys watched us taking out it was tight so that's been two and a half months ago so who knows are you sure about this here bud no Go down, Hunter. That looks like it's not going to fit. that way Good action shots here, bud. I 
don't need to uh, go right there. Doing okay now? Yeah, you need to come about, forward. You're about where you need to be as far as. You probably need to start coming forward, don't you? So you need to back up and cut his yep. ass into the right. You turn your tires all the way that way and back up just a little. that long blue handle pry bar all right guys so Kevin pretty much did it all and uh, I watched him but is that how it goes yeah <laughs> oh wait Kevin's sucking it in that's what he's trying to say that's right well we got her in there it wasn't fun I had some little splinies to line up we had some choice words for it too off camera oh crap I just knocked him out they're back. I'm gonna I get did these. my side, but now it's time no, for you no, to no, do no, your no. side. I can't reach that. I thought you were doing all the work. I did. Oh I my done. gosh. All right, I'm gonna tighten these bolts down. You guys are gonna have to move because you're in my way. No, no, and then gonna, we'll go to the it. back. I can't, I can't. All right, we're getting some lines on. I got the rear bracket on the pump. Hunter's tightened up top bolts yet. Trying to. Kevin's tightening up the main feed line for the pumps. Big inch and a quarter line. All this stuff's real fun to get to in here. So, I got all these lines to hook up on these motors, but I think we should put the hydraulic pump on for the blade next. I'll probably put a strap around it, kind of weasel it up in there before I get all these lines in here and get them in my way. Sounds like a good idea anyway. We'll get that. Uh, I got a new O-ring for that. We'll get that up in there. Yeah. All right, got the pump. Got a new O-ring on it. Got some grease on the splines and the O-ring. I'm gonna throw that strap up to Kevin. Kevin, you way up in there. Got it. Oh. I'm gonna try to get that in there. Come on. You guys can see there's a bunch of. Spaghetti. Bunch of spaghetti in the way. Black spaghetti. We're going way up there in that hole. In the hole. There's the strap. Mm. Mm. Oh, I lost it. Stop. What'd you do? Lose it? Stop. Dropped it. Hang on. have to go underneath. This is not fun. You got that, Kevin? Uh, yeah, I got the rope. Let's hold on to it there. Huh? 
Huh? Doesn't like you. There she went. Now she likes you. Woo. They make you have blind babies. All right, we're getting close. Seven be. days later. We're putting oil in it. Got all these new lines hooked up down here. Got new transmission lines. At least somebody's doing something. Is that what you said? That is exactly what I said. What? Kevin's filling up the transmission tank. Now he's going to fill up the hydraulic tank. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hunter's got a new filter in there. Do I need to go up here and inspect? Did you get all the lines hooked up? I don't know. Did you see anything leaking? Boy, she's a gusher, boys. Is she? No. I had you worried though. I haven't blamed it on her. There's a lot of spaghetti going on there, I'll say that. Yeah. You think we got it together, right? I think so. We'll, we'll figure it out here in a little bit. Put it in reverse and go to the pole. <laughs> yeah, that could be my fault because I hooked up those lines. Alright, we're going to finish topping that thing off. Got to fill up transmission, then hydraulic. And then we'll start it. And, uh, see how many leaks we got we got a big old mess going on so if we get it going it's getting late today i just make sure it works i'll take it out tomorrow and try to calibrate the uh transmission on it so that all passes no leaks then we'll put the winch on it sound good sounds great winch, winch time are you ready to see what kind of sprinkler system we got if it's gonna rain it's gonna rain down it's gonna rain hard all, all right, we've got both tanks topped off. Giving everything a once over. Are you guys uh, keeping an eye out back here? Yeah. There's no oil dripping down there, is there? Nope. Nope. Yeah. Not yet. Are you ready? <laughs> Ooh, that's loud. Here we go. We got a leak over here, boys. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Bob. That's definitely Hunter's one line. Hunter, did you tighten that one line up? Up in there. <laughs> no, that's Kevin. This is Kevin right here. No, Kevin. no. Kevin. No, no, Kevin. no. That Look, was you. there's your wrench right there, Bob. Give it to you. You're supposed to tighten that up. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Hey, you got the battery on, Bob. Other <laughs> <Aww>. way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now it's going to look like we got leaks everywhere. We got leaks everywhere. This is 100% Tucker. Tucker? Tucker's not even here. Well, this is Tucker. If it wasn't Tucker, it was Jay. I didn't even do this. not here either. Yeah, it works better when you tighten those up. I didn't even do this. Give that a try. Alright. Round two. Hold your ears. See any more leaks besides Niagara Falls? Huh? Niagara Falls. Sorry about that. Well, it moves forward and backwards the right way. That's probably good. Yeah. What's all this oil leaking back here? Take it out of the <laughs> Did you say your paycheck? No, I'm taking it. You know, a lot of people has been. Uh, a lot of people has been asking if you're getting paid now since hey, we sold the 455. I saw that 455 hit on down the road, so I expect oh, a paycheck here. We too. might get you one. Maybe. I got another secret project in the works too, kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe. Might involve the same numbers, but not letters. We're not saying yet. 
All right, it's past that quitting time. time. We're working till? No. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in the morning, and uh, I guess we're gonna get all this crap off the tracks and give her a test run, and calibrate it. Hey, I can't wait to see all this dirt come off now. It's gonna make a mess, ain't it? Brady's gonna be happy. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're back. We're gonna fire this thing up again and see what it does here. Works. You guys remember last time the blade didn't work, so the pumps were broke. Back it up here and see what happens. dozer back in here run into a slight problem somebody ordered the wrong drive shaft didn't they and i don't order anything so i wonder who it was that must have been me so if you guys remember the original drive shaft kevin's actually already cut it in two you say this didn't twist just fell down and fell down and was turning on something yeah. anyway that was the old drive shaft part of the tubing i ordered a new drive shaft for a uh, 450 to 650 dozer for some reason. This is a 700. And she's short. So, since you guys like seeing machining, machining and welding videos, we found this nice piece of drive shaft tubing we had in stock. Freebie. Zero, not we got a couple new U joints coming from Napa. We're just going to make us a new drive shaft. This drive shaft is actually $850 from John Deere. So, the way we figure it, we can spend a couple hours and make a new one. And, uh, It'll be money money so kevin's trying to get a measurement there because this thing's all shrunk up distorted so we're gonna get a measurement we'll get uh this chucked up in the lathe we'll cut that weld loose you guys can see it's just a piece of tubing slid in there and uh we'll have to do the same on the other end wherever kevin took it to and uh we should be good to go we'll get the tubing cut and then i've got the welding machine over we'll get it welded up all right, so got our uh, one yoke over here in the lathe. I got my parting tool in there. I'm gonna kind of get that weld cut down there. 
it should be somewhere in the center it should be a separation between that uh, tube and that uh, yoke so we'll get uh, get her fired up here and see what happens Got it. Bam! Look at that, brand new. New old stock. Okay, we gotta do the other side. Where'd it go? We'll, we'll find it somewhere. All right, got that cut through. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll probably go slice that one and get that one off. Got it. Yeah, then. All right, we got our two pieces here. And keep in mind, we're not a drive shaft shop. I don't claim yes, to be. Yes, we are. So what I always do, I heat the tube up because these um somewhat of a press fit i'm sure there's probably a right way to do this there's probably videos on the internet so what i'm going to do is heat that tube up and that should drop right in and then we'll do the other side and kevin's got our uh, snap-on made in the u.s of china okay. what do you call that rotary welder turntable turntable you guys remember i actually used this a while back on making some uh, cylinder rods so we're gonna get this heated up make magic happen All right, we got our contraption rigged up. I've never used this actual gun holder. We got that uh, setting up right there. Hey, look, here's an apple with the U joints, bud. I tell you. So we need to get her speed adjusted. Where you at there? This is the problem. That'd be better to weld going the other way, wouldn't it? That way we can see what's going on. You ready for this? Ready? Yep. Huh. Are we grounded? Hmm. 
Oh, hey. We ain't gonna grab. <laughs> you wanna tell everybody what we done? <laughs> no. no it's so to weld, time. you gotta make a circuit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently we clamped this uh, nice chuck on this rubberized, what do you call that? Spine. Oh, well, the electricity coating. won't go through that coating? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, we yeah. gotta regroup. We've got this all set up. And we did good too. Yeah. All right. Million five. Here, I'll open the window open so you can get some air conditioning. Yeah, it's, it's not working. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah. It's like an armpit out here. Yeah, thank you. I'll just come below. Are you ready? <laughs> go for it. Okay, here we go. Get her. All right, got her all welded up, looking looking pretty legit. I had a couple boo-boos over here, but be just fine on it. Perfect. So got some new U-joints. We're gonna replace all those. We'll have a brand new factory. You know, Spicer might wanna hire us. I think they will. That's pretty legit. All right, we'll get new U-joints in there. We'll get that dry shaft and stuff uh, put in the machine there. We're not gonna bore you guys with that. Part's kinda hard to see up in there. Then we'll get the winch put in. back on there. Oh, Caddy Wampus, aren't we? We'll put this top right corner on. Hang on, Kevin. We got a dirt family over here. All right. Come on in. Need to go down, Kevin. Got the winch all bolted yeah. up. Kevin's got the hiccups. Yeah. I'm gonna hook the uh, winch controller cable up here. I'm not gonna put the cotter pin in it yet because most of the time we gotta adjust them, don't we? Right. There. All right, he's gonna fill it up. I think they hold about seven gallons of uh, hydraulic oil. And then we'll fire it up and see if it works. If it works. Then we gotta put all the covers on, cable on, got the log arch put back on. And the uh, only thing we're gonna have left is that uh, windshield, door glass. And then we'll announce our giveaway maybe, huh? You gonna give me away? I don't know if I wanna do that. Oh. Now that I started paying you again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm a tax write off, aren't I? That's right. <laughs> all right, we'll get her filled up and see what happens here. Hey, look up there. Brand new shiny shovel. They yeah. obviously didn't know how to use it, did they? No. Tracks are plumb full. But it does a lot of good up there. It looks good, though. It, and it's brand new. Too. Brand new. It not even have a dirty handprint on it. Yeah, they sure... Uh, everybody wondered why I didn't dig the tracks out. We probably should have. <laughs> but Randy would have been there for all day washing that thing. I'm sure they don't want to pay for all that. No. Whatever, Kevin's got oil in here. We gotta start at these check with the uh, dozer running. And we'll see if this thing works. We'll see if that cable's adjusted right. See if it free spools. 
see if it sprays oil. You guys remember this case was completely busted. This is actually another winch case. We took all the internals out of the other one and put in this one. So I'm going to fire it up here and see if it works. Are you ready? Alright, got the winch on there, got all the cover plates back on. Um, I had a little problem with the free spool um, drum in there, it was sticking. It was not wanting to engage in free spool. I actually got a new free spool gear, there's actually fiber on here. I didn't take any pictures of taking it apart, but that one was fairly worn, it was still good yet, but it was hanging up on his teeth. I polished them, put it back together, it kept hanging up, just wasn't right. So I actually picked up a new gear from uh, John Deere yesterday basically it sits in there and there's teeth inside this drum and when you put that lever and free spool there's a piston that pushes that in it was hanging up as it's going in and out so i got a new gear in there everything's working good now what we're going to do next is put the log arch back on here and uh, wind the cable up in it we've got the log arch sitting over there and we do have to put a piece of glass in it so i'm going to set you guys up here on a time lapse while we get the log arch on there and then we'll wind the cable up Alright, got the cable fastened on the drum. Jay's on the forklift. He's going to hold tension on the cable. Mason's going to help wind it up here. I always like to wind him up here in the drum first, then we'll feed it up over the log arch after we get done. So. got her all back together mr kevin's back he was painting an 850 of all things mm -hmm. got the uh, door glass we got it glued in you know the loggers busted that thing out didn't even break it didn't even break it i got vice i know the glass people's probably screaming at me right now for having vice grips on a piece of glass <laughs> well, we got cardboard here so we gotta let that set up i gotta put the windshield wiper motor on it i'm sure they'll tear that up again next week <laughs> got the log arch on one Got the cable wound up like you guys seen so that is a wrap on this thing what do you think it's been a long time coming been a long time if you guys have not seen the previous two videos of this thing definitely go in the description and click on those see and we shoved this thing in the shop with what 850 yep. Yep. the yellow frankenstein 850 mm -hmm. got shoved in there so all right i think that's a wrap on this if you guys like what you've seen give us a big thumbs up that's going to help us out a lot and uh I'd like to thank uh we got a couple gifts a while back too we got to thank him red dog sent us some uh, rc tools yeah kevin confiscated yep yeah i've been using them he's been using them send them to tucker but tucker i don't think he's got to touch them <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
We appreciate, but I appreciate that. It anyways. And then uh, Dana actually sent us a couple gasket scrapers. So I actually used that today to scrape out the gasket on that window, believe it or not. So we do appreciate all that stuff. So, guys, we'll uh, catch you next time. So, thanks for watching. All right. So, if there's any, the two or three people that's still watching us here, we told you we was going to do a giveaway um, on this tractor. So, I actually just finished up writing the bill up on this tractor. It is not cheap it's in the thousands so i know i had a lot of people asking me how much uh this job is going to cost so i've got the number i'm not going to say the number but three thousand uh, <laughs> i'm gonna give you a hint you need to go way up so we're going to do a giveaway we're going to give away a set of these sweet mud flaps we've got them in several different you're supposed to hold that up and model it we've got these in several different sizes we got their we got 24 by 18s, 24 by 24s, uh, 30 inches tall and 36, and I've got uh, smaller ones are 14 by 20 for like your smaller dealer truck. So those are your normal, normal uh, semi size ones. So you guys can guess without going over the amount this bill was. Prices, prices, right? Three thousand one. I don't think you're gonna win. Hmm. You guys can guess how much the bill was in this tractor. I'm not gonna say it. We're just going to pick the lucky viewer here in probably another month or so that gets the closest to it without going over. So you can be exactly it. Hmm. And what it's, about the person that pays the bill? Can they guess? Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, they're probably they're probably not. A, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say the number when I announce the winner. We're just going to pick them. So we'll uh, but uh, leave all your comments down below in the description, and we'll go through them here in a few weeks. And announce it later in another video so you guys just have to keep watching the videos to see if you want or not so huh. how's that sound I like that idea. all right we'll catch you guys next time